Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials and in this video we're going to review a custom ROM for the Redmi 4A for the first time. Now if you look at my channel, when I initially started making videos, I started off with the Redmi Note 4 which has a lot of custom ROMs and very good stability as well. So I went ahead and reviewed a lot of ROMs and a lot of you liked it. Now moving forward, the Redmi 4A has started getting stable ROMs which are based off Android Nougat 7.1.2 there are still a few bugs for instance this CR Droid ROM that we're running the default camera app doesn't record videos very well so you have to rely on a third-party application like footage camera you can download it from the Play Store and uh, portable hotspot doesn't work from settings but then again there is an app included in the ROM for that so more or less this is a daily driver now why am I talking about this in a video right now well because I want you guys to give it a try and make it your new daily driver because it is very good when it comes to memory management it is very good when it comes to smoothness I tried asphalt 8 on high settings and it didn't lag at all which is really really surprising I played modern combat 5 two missions on high settings with 60 FPS limit and it didn't lag as much as it would in MIUI now this phone right here is running MIUI 8.5 and if I try to play Modern Combat 5 in this particular phone it goes ahead and lags so much that you can really not play the game. So that was all about the ROM. What is so special that makes it a video worthy ROM? Well for Geo users and the numbers of Geo users are increasing day by day in our country the most important thing is this. This icon you see right here voice over LTE that means this custom ROM has voice over LTE built in and in the video we're going to see a lot of custom ROM features that are available for this and what this ROM is all about hello awesome people let's review CR Droid for the Redmi 4A what's up YouTube so okay it's time to review this this particular ROM which I've been making a lot of noise about I know but yeah it is worth the effort I mean it, it's one of the first ROMs to come out with voice over LTE for the Redmi 4A with almost a daily driver you know it's, it's that stable so that's the reason I decided maybe I should spend some time with it not that I use the Redmi 4A as my daily driver but then again a lot of you would be using Redmi 4A as your daily driver and I thought you would really want to know what is the scene when it comes to custom ROMs for this phone. Now this Wi-Fi tether router app is for Wi-Fi hotspot or and that's what you need to do. You need to select interface in SWLAN 0 and then you can enable the Wi-Fi router. So that's how hotspot works. And this PDN net is for USB tethering. Now these two options are the only bugs which are not working directly from settings but there is an alternative to that. Now apart from this the built-in camera app doesn't really work well when it comes to recording videos so you can use footage cameras or Google camera any other camera app works just fine so that's not a deal breaker as well so these are the only three compromise I would not even call them compromise they are just adjustments or things that you need to take care of and that is that and what do we have next well customization as always as I review CR Droid for the Redmi Note 4 in the past and as I'm looking at it right now you know tons of options almost everything in the operating system is something you can customize it's it's more than what you can do in MIUI I mean you could even go ahead and put your name or your girlfriend's name in the status bar if you wish I mean <laughs> yeah as a carrier label you can do that so that's what custom ROMs are there for and you know you can customize everything from the recent panel to how 
the color of the theme is to what font you want to use to maybe what icons you want to have and what colored status bar you want to have do you want to have on screen buttons or you want to use the touch capacity buttons you can have breathing notifications ambient display blurred lock screen and what not so basically you know there's a ton of customization see you can customize the power menu as well as a sound panel a screenshot you can just take a screenshot from the power menu if you wish to and so basically the reason i like this rom is not only because of the stability but you know it comes with the tons of customization options and you can make your phone your own i know you know going through the hassle of unlocking the bootloader on a Xiaomi device and then installing TWRP but once you have installed the ROM and you've installed it properly if you don't know how to you can just go ahead and follow the video which I uploaded maybe yesterday or day before so that is that and uh, talking about customization it goes one extra mile you have substantum support now, I don't know if, if the developer of this particular ROM port for Redmi 4 decided to keep it built in I installed Substrantum theme engine and then installed the theme and enabled root access and just launched, fired up a theme and compiled it and bam, it was working. It did tell me that there were a few compilation errors and stuff like that, but I did not notice any force closures or you know anything that would make me worried when it comes to the phone being stable and stuff like that. So. A couple of themes I tried and you can try your own and if you if you want to stay away from substantum for the sake of stability you can do that I mean I'm not saying it will compromise your ROMs stability but you know if you're feeling adventurous you can go ahead and give it a shot some pretty nice decent themes in there so that was substantum for you and apart from this what can I tell you so that three things that I mentioned that you should be worried about if, if you're really really a perfectionist is that for the camera, you need to download a third-party app. Uh, the quality is almost on par with the stock ROM. It may be a little here and there. If you're using a hotspot a lot, there is an extra app which is provided, which you need to configure, and then you can use hotspot. And if you want to use your phone using USB tethering, then there is PDA net. So these are the only three things which should matter. And as I'm reviewing this ROM, let me tell you, Asphalt 8 on high settings, Modern Combat 5 on high settings, works perfectly fine i mean it's not butter smooth like how you'd expect on a flagship device but it's more than playable which is not the case when you install these games on miui 8.5 or miui 9 beta for that matter so definitely a daily driver pretty smooth pretty slick looks there and my recommendation if you are into custom roms go ahead and give it a shot make sure you back up all your data and follow the instructions so that was the review for you guys if you like the way I reviewed it, do share your thoughts. If you didn't, do share everything in the comment section. Stay tuned. We're going to look at a few more upcoming devices in the next few videos. Till then, stay calm, stay happy. Goodbye.